remember to hit that subscribe button for more videos. Hey guys, little to you back once again with another video. So today we are going to be talking about budgeting. So we all know, as a little, you still have grown up responsibilities like living on a budget if you own your own place. So we all know diapers are expensive. If you come from the ABDL side, from buying ABDL diapers to $20 um, bag of diapers, you feel that it's not really that expensive anymore. Um, but budgeting while trying to buy diapers is a little hard. For me, I don't really care for money. I was raised up to understand one thing about money. All it can get you is your place, the sleep, a bed, food, clothes, and that's all you need. Well, in today's society, we focus on wants more than needs. Um, but besides that, diapers can be a need and they can also be a want. Um, if you're incontinent, well, that's a medical need and that's when you need diapers. But if you're an AB who doesn't really need them for medical condition, they're more of a want. But besides that, these can be expensive. We all know that diapers have no tax, but if you're buying online, they do because of shipping and handling. So just be careful. Another thing is that it's hard to buy sometimes, but it's okay. So right in front of me, we had the rears, the also cute, and the crinkles. Spoils are fairly cheap. Crinkles are fairly cheap, so are the crinkles. I messed it up, sorry. I meant to say the rears, also cute, and crinkles. But, okay. So I am happy to announce I'm getting some new diapers, uh, four sites. And I will be breaking them down when I get them. I will be doing an unfailing of them. And, yeah should be fun. Um, the only expensive diaper from Rears is their Rears Safari, what is 45 bucks, bucks, give or take. Um, but yeah. Um, another thing is let's talk about another video topic. What I have for another video is little, Littles versus Young Littles. I know this video is short, but bear with me. Um, young Littles versus Littles. Um, we will talk about that in another video, but for now, I'll just say young littles are upon us and there's nothing we can do. So just be careful when you're out there, age players. I know it's kind of hard to not understand some little details. Another thing, um, another comment what I had is uh, from a viewer. Say an ABDL match is a scam. Well, yes and no. The way I look at it is that every dating site, there are a bunch of scammers and a bunch of fake accounts. I know for a fact that my one buddy who was, his picture was took, taken for Tinder, but people didn't realize that he was already well known here where I live. So it was deleted and taken off the internet. Um, but with every single dating site out there, there's obviously going to be a bunch of fake accounts. So I look at the positive and the negative. So yeah, if you are on ABDM, ABDL match, just be careful. Another thing, um, if you are a YouTuber like me, do not... I replete, do not let anybody make it count for you because my this is logical thinking is yes you're trying to help out somebody but don't because you have the power to delete that account at any given point because you're the one who made it you can delete it even if you get frustrated with the person so do not accept anybody's account or do not accept somebody who made you an account you can say thank you but i'm not interested just some safety tips for online 
So, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and we'll be talking about young, AB, young ABDLs versus the old ABDLs. So, for now, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. And remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.